Hello there, everybody. It is me, No Name One One Seven Spore, with Rule the Waves Three as France. Today, I am joined by Overlord. Hello. Yeah. Uh, as my guest. Yeah. Uh, j just so you are all aware, this is the uh, second time doing this recording. The first time lasted five minutes before I realized that I had screwed up. Um, uh, no. no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Back as France, currently at war with Britain and the U.S., um, as well as Austria-Hungary, about to join in. Last episode, we absolutely crushed the British in battle, sinking seven of their eight remaining battleships, with Centurion somehow surviving on about 300 flotation points. That, that annoys me, but, um... Yeah. yeah. Britain has been largely knocked out of this war at this point. They're not that consequential of a power in Northern Europe, although their cruiser force does still need to be defeated. Um, but, you know, with Austria about to join in, I am going to have to start getting unit, more units into the Mediterranean to deal with them um, and try to reduce their navy down with the hope of getting to a point where I can blockade both Austria and Britain at the same time and then just have to deal with the damn U.S. fleet running around taking all my, you know, colonies. Currently, the hmm. cruiser Pothau is one month away from her reconstruction. I do think I have to halt to Kent's because my monetary situation is not good. Um, two turns out from getting Pluton back, two turns out from getting Bjorn back. Or getting Bjorn into service because yeah, Bjorn's been a problem. Getting Bjorn into service is really going to help. Come on, I thought you were saying Bjorn. Oh, God. I've been, I, I'll be honest, I have been trying to invite Bjorn on for one of these episodes for a while and been getting no response. Um. Yeah, can always see if, can always start an episode when he's in voice chat and just yank him in. <laughs> awesome. Non-consensual. Uh, Non-consensual, you are joining this. Yep. You are the guest speaker. You have no choice in that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get two planes on uh, Paris here. Well, not Paris. I'm mm. um, triumphant. Fancy. I need to relocate. Uh, first of all, okay. Why does she have a Mount Seventeen in there? Where is? Okay, Mount Fifteen remove. I assume that means Mount Seven needs. Yes. So I actually, her Mount Seven's position needs to be changed somewhere else. Um, because I've, basically I'm having to move to the Churchbat so that I can stick in, uh, an additional crane for the float planes. Alright. Seems reasonable. Okay, so I think, catapult rotating, I hope I have enough, um, decoration points to do this. Probably don't. I think right now it might be a good idea to send Paris in for a similar refit, even though she's only, um, you know, she'd only be out for two months normally. It's like, yeah, but I have a chance to, uh, get float planes on her. Yeah, it'll help a lot with the uh, scouting sheet. Uh, and then I will be, I, I think I will be refitting Paris just because it'll actually save me some money. Uh, refitting, yeah. uh, actually, no, not Paris. Uh, France, sorry. France will get refit. Paris will get refit, but Paris getting refit will actually cost me a little more, but over a longer period of time. But, you know, that gets me a ship with the, you know, advanced directors and all that. Which, um, I believe at that point, that would mean that everything except maybe, like, Danton and some of the battle cruisers will have been updated. I'm looking for a float plane. It's under F. Last I should mention, I have a new mouse, so I'm adjusting to that. My previous mouse was uh, chucked across the room after it uh, started dying. Huh, um, I wonder who did that. Uh, 
Uh, it had already been dying for, like, a long time, and it was finally to the point where it was effectively unusable, and I was mad at it. Um, that being said, uh, it's possible, it's possible my anger contributed to, um, its destruction, but at the same time, like, there's also something where I was regularly percussive maintenancing it, and then, you know, trying to harder percussive maintenance it, and that broke it more, and then it's like, oh, chuck it across the room. Um, it was like, gradually, you know, it was kind of broken to very broken to goodbye. Nope, top side limit exceeded, and fire control, not the best. So I need to cut out probably a couple medium anti-aircraft guns. Anti -aircraft. There we go. Alright, Triumphant will be going in. <clears throat> Actually, my budget might get a little bit better um, if I send Paris in, because it'll take three months to uh, get the whole rebuild done. The first two months of that will be cheaper, and although the third month will be more expensive, uh, Cruiser Bjern, or not the Cruiser, the Carrier Bjern will have entered service then. And actually... The air and entering service isn't gonna. Okay, o Overlord is like really, really key mashing right now. I assume uh, something with GTA. Uh, no, actually. Oh. That, that came through very, very loudly. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, audience. Uh, I'm gonna adjust the desktop audio I'm down just down. slightly. I hate how long the game takes to, uh, load whenever I'm trying to do any rebuilds. Unless I, don't, pretty hard. Unless I don't think... Looking at the other damaged ships, I don't think there's a reason to send uh, the other cruiser, or the cruiser Chatter Nalt in, even though um, you know her sister is currently being updated. Okay, so unfortunately I'm going to lose the elite crew on France with this. That's the downside to what I'm doing. Um, But again, the upside is that... uh. This will be cheaper. France is dead. Long live France. Uh, let me do... Yeah, I'll do four, 10 foreign dual purpose guns. Be two anti-aircraft directors. One. Oh. I'm only going to do one float plane on France. But... Uh, Actually, I'm only gonna do. Eh. You know what? The rounds per gun really don't doesn't matter right now, correct? I don't think so. Too much, at least. Actually, I, th I thought it was like literally the case where it doesn't make a difference right now. Uh, difference in what terms? Yeah, like the game doesn't. The the uh, the ammo count of the sec bat and tersh bat actually like the game doesn't take it into account. It's I think it's broken from what I've heard. That's a shame. Yeah. Um. I'm not gonna abuse that too heavily yet, and you know it's there's a possibility it gets fixed. You know. Bugs been reported, so at some point we'll probably work on that. Yeah, I think that is good for Battleship France. You need to get, get a couple visuals in a stern. Fault plane to medium is the best fault plane. Oh wait, no, hold on. I need the catapult first. I really am going to have to get used to this new mouse. Maybe I'll have to play War Thunder later. And just uh, kind of use that to get used to it. But yeah, this mouse is like, um, you know, fully see-through RGB. I'll have to mess with that later on. It is wired. Made sure it was wired. I don't want wireless mice. I've had, I've had issues with wireless equipment before, so... Yeah, wireless mice fucking blow. Yeah. And um 
It's got more buttons than I expected. It's like I was expecting, oh, you know, two side buttons, maybe something to adjust mouse sensitivity. No, four side buttons plus an additional... There's an additional button you can press and then press any of the keybinds and it's, you know, something else. And apparently even the clickers, you know, the mouse clickers oh. have like two settings somehow. It's, Weird. it's got a modifier key. Yeah. Let's see. Mine just has two buttons on the side and then a pair of buttons, which initially I thought one of them was for sensitivity, one was for like an, a macro or whatever, but no, one's for sensitivity up, one's for sensitivity down. Actually, I've just realized that this region is stupid, but whatever. Yeah. I'm not a mouse expert, maybe there was a reason. Yeah. But in my opinion, it was probably a stupid ass reason. <laughs> yeah, probably. Actually, I've just realized that this refit to France is going to not be cheaper. Um, but I th I think that's probably still worth it to get um, a ship up to, you know, get a ship up to having uh, advanced fire control, advanced directors, and then her crew can work up again. And she's got a brilliant commander, so we'll probably get the crew in line quickly anyway. Bay would still be fine. Yeah, I think everything else is fine. Um, I'm trying to look at what ships don't have advanced directors at this point. So, Democracy still doesn't. Um, Anton probably doesn't. Does Condorcet? Condorcet does not. So, she... These could get up updated. I think anything below R1925 doesn't have an advanced director yet. Yeah. I mean, my best battle cruiser doesn't have an advanced director yet, but I I would probably need her to actually get, like, damaged or something. Give you um, an excuse. Yep. I think that is it for the ships I need to rebuild. Um, I did halt to Kent's. And, uh, yeah, also, hopefully I should be getting on that, um... YouTube partner thing soon. I was gonna do it, um, you know, I, I announced that I got the email last episode, and I was gonna do it then, but of course, you know, the my the mouse breaking uh kinda kinda stopped that from happening. Oh right, I did I, I did gore. Yeah, I did the manual commander work last time and uh guess what was just undone? Oh no. Okay, so we got this this guy I wanna grab the commander from uh, what was it? I'm gonna grab the commander from Forbin. Omar, I want to grab a um, below average rate of fire and through the enthusiast, and then for Forbin, I will actually just assign an unknown and uh, for. Division in here. Actually, do I have any no unknown Captain Divisos? Yes, I do, but I probably don't want those on a regular active destroyer division. So I'll grab the that guy, the average guy with no connections. There we go. Commander work is done. Um, man, my destroyer divisions have taken a beating this war. I'm also supposed to be building new destroyers, but like with what monthly budget? I it was briefly positive, it was positive for a couple turns, and then all my ships went into repair. Okay, I think it is time to um hit next turn. See what happens. Raid on enemy coastal shipping. Isle of White large, I'll accept. Uh, decline that. Is that the first turn with no battle in this war? Finish a reconstruction. Fourth cruiser is there. Crush them completely. For more months, we'll do it. Fighting Valley in Madagascar. DD Martins hit a, or hit a mine and sunk. So that was an enemy one. Start to sunk a uh, submarine. An enemy submarine has torpedoed a ship, Garbage Lighter Number Four. Is the, 
Yeah, the, the second time Garbage Lighter number four has been torpedoed in this war. Poor Garbage Lighter number four. <laughs> <laughs> A battle in West Africa between the U.S. and Russian navies. The U.S. Seal Spokane and D.D. McKean have been sunk. Russia lost um, Seal Svetlana and D.D. Polesny. So, even trade. British raider Amphrite has been interned in a neutral port. Excellent. 250 VP for blockade. Too few DD in the Mediterranean to protect your heavy ships. I need more destroyers. US medium bomber has a heavier bomb load. Um, okay, I got money back. Let's uh, resume construction on Dukens and uh, lay down a couple new destroyers. That would be the these guys. I get three of them building right now. Things are cheap, designed to be cheap and designed to be spam. The other thought is I could have resumed construction on Shanzi, but I think I'm gonna wait till uh, Bjorn is you know done and in service again. Why right, Forbin has the old O tag too. You know what? I think I think I gotta gotta send Forbin in for a rebuild. I think right now that's the right call. Mm, do I add a do I add above water torpedo tubes? Probably not. Um, be fun though. Would be fun, yeah. But I, I, I already have such a small topside load that I don't think I will. If I had a larger topside load, I would. So that's that's gonna cost me a bit to get uh, Forbin updated, but um, you know, she's got the O tag. I probably don't want to be sending her into combat right now. Until that's fixed. I guess deployed alone, Pothau and uh, Cond will for now just wait in the Mediterranean for Austria to get pissed. But once Austria gets pissed, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my battlecruiser fleet out to uh, deal with them. And I'm going to grab one of my battleship divisions. Maybe two of my battleship divisions. Hmm. I see. Um... Yeah, the thought is, I, I could pull 3rd and 4th off the battle line. Um, leave 2nd and, f you know, leave 2nd and 1st to deal with, uh, deal with Britain. Even then, I think 1st Battle Division would be enough to deal with Britain. Um, but yeah, I need the entire battle cruiser force, and I do think that grabbing some battleships would be good, and then also probably moving some of the carriers down there. Okay then, um, next turn, enemy coastal bombardment, accept. Hey, they accepted. We get to see a battle. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't like the massive fleet battles that have been happening though, but eh, will probably still be something where they have a cruiser deployed. From the looks of things, I don't think they'll get. Sh I, I don't think Britain will get their battleship deployed yet, because um, uh, that thing's kind of in repair right now. A little bit roughed up. Um, yeah, very very roughed up. It is. Oh, it is possible they could bring American battleships in. Okay, so what do I have here? So. Looks like I'm operating the carriers um, Glor and Desai. But unfortunately, it looks like these carriers are within sight of the enemy formation. Um, I'm going to be honest, if this loses, leads me to losing my carriers, I'm all to fouring and uh, restarting that turn. <laughs> because that's a little bit bullshit of a spawn. Yeah, that's a bit bullshit of a spawn. Um... But, you know, there's a chance it won't. 
Um, squad max. I hear you guys cut in this way. Carriers. Squad max. Run up north. Okay. Um, I think I can successfully hide the carriers behind the battleships. I do have a support force here. So is that correct? Who are you? Oh no, that that's No, that's just a coastal force. This is weird. Battle generator, go home, you're drunk. It looks like I get four cruisers. Or four armored cruisers. <laughs> so Sully, Admiral Op, Victor Hugo, and Leon Gimbetta. Um, this probably means that Britain is bringing out armored cruisers, or heavy cruisers, proper. Um, in terms of, is this fight fair? Between, like, four of these versus whatever heavy cruisers Britain can manage to bring out? I'm not completely sure. Depends on how many they bring out. I know that in the last battle they had, like, six heavy, you know, they brought out six heavy cruisers in a battle and got all six of them heavily damaged. Yeah. So I'm guessing that, I, you know, if this is like a two-to-one advantage in cruisers, you know, that's probably enough to win. Huh. Um, my cruisers are big, but they're old. But they are still, they're not slow. Although, unfortunately, you know, the sea state limit ship speed. Okay, so these are... What the hell? The enemy ships are completely dead in the water right now. Okay, so, um, good news is my carriers are running away. You. That's another AI controlled destroyer. My, uh, battleships are shooting at a destroyer for some reason. Vibe check. What? Vibe check. Oh, yeah. Okay, this has been a very weird spawn. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna form my battleships as a core on my CAs. Um... Those enemy ships are barely moving right now. Actually, hold on, hold on. If I look here, do we have any... Do we have any bombardment target, or are these just coastal batteries? These are just coastal batteries. Yeah, so I don't immediate. I don't immediately see a bombardment. Is that... No, that's battery... I don't immediately see a um, bombardment target, so I don't think they're going for a bombardment target. I think they are just trying to attack my ships. Why is this game the sniper rifle named the SSG-69? I have no idea. Okay, I'm going to move my cruisers at 18 knots now. Uh, I think carriers are far enough back to go to AI control. I put everything in AI control. Normally I would have them on AI control, but it's just like, oh crap, they spawn near an enemy. Um, I should probably try to manual those guys out. No, I, I play on Admiral and I just put everything in AI control. Okay. Battleships, please come back down. Battleships are apparently not liking, you know, being subservient to a cruiser force. Oh, great, it's also nighttime. What is this Russian cruiser doing? Okay, um... Cruising. Yeah, there's a Russian cruiser over here. Um, how good are you? Is it friendly or neutral? Friendly. Russia's friendly. 
Um, it's got five five-inch guns. They're all center line. Does have above water torpedo tubes, but it looks like Russia's not advanced beyond single mounts when this was built. Okay, belt armor. Worse, not great turret armor, but um, eh. Definitely more of a scout cruiser than anything. Go down to cruise speed. Wait, hold on. Is this the entire enemy formation? Is it literally just, like, four destroyers? Or, like, three destroyers and a cruiser? Or, like, cruiser? It would not surprise me. Huh. That's the case. She'll be right. Actually, Let's battleships. Yeah, go back to. Um... Oh, I guess you are a core on the CVL group now. Um, I thought you were. I thought I assigned you to be a core on uh, Victor Hugo. Unless there is something else as a core on Victor Hugo. Oh, we found. Oh, we're down a CA apparently. Found another ship out. That doesn't look CA. No, that that's maneuvering like a destroyer. Hmm. I think you should just kill them. It's that easy. Um, you guys, support on Sully. Yeah, do that for now. To get the carrier closer in. I'm going to move to a little bit more open part of this ocean. Okay. What? How bad is this weather? Weather cloudy. It was um, a little stronger than strong breeze. I think it was very windy, but it's just gone down to strong breeze. Okay, fresh breeze northeast. Weather's improving. Uh, it's going to be nighttime for a while. Just the question is, do I keep my fleet out somewhere for the daytime, or do I just retreat it in a park? Um, okay, enemy zeppelins are night bombing one of my transports. I mean, to, to be fair, Zepp I think zeppelins are so far the most successful... Uh, enemy aircraft at sinking ships, so... Incredible. Yep, they got, they got an AV of mine. Whereas, with, um... What the fuck? Oh, okay. Okay, that was a coastal patrol destroyer. I just got killed by a quadcopter with an anti-personnel mine on top of it. Oh no. <laughs> that sounds like something that would happen in Squad. Yeah, that was, uh... Yeah, okay, it's sort of like... Uh, Walmart brand Squad. Yeah. Something else that would serve. Yeah. It's a... Mix of, like, looks and has some features of Squad, but plays more like Battlefield. Okay. Oh, shit. These states still limit ship speed to what? Um, okay, 28 knots. So the weather's improving. I kind of I do want to wait for daytime and then... I don't know. The question is, do I think I've won or do I think I've lost? Ooh, one... Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting report, so... Interesting report. Interesting report. Interesting report. There's something about here. Something says Agni sights an unknown ship. Okay, okay, interesting. What do we. Reporting multiple destroyers. 
um, go down to about 18 knots. However that is, they've turned north, weather has turned into a mist. Stuff's going into uh, La Havre, it seems. I don't know why some of my destroyers are going into uh, port. Weather limits air operations. I was strongly thinking about going, oh, let's launch some aircraft in the morning. Um. No planes for you. Yeah. Okay, okay. The air station at La Havre is being shelled. So. My thought is to situate myself so that when the. You know, when the morning comes, my ships are in a position to deal with whatever the hell was shooting there. Sounds like a definitely more solid plan than the ones I usually come up with. Okay. There's something over here. Okay, go to 18 knots. Oh, weather is a heavy rain, though. That is not helpful. Yeah, never mind. I'm I'm looking at my spotting distance right now. Mm. I can't see my my flagship cannot see my full formation. Uh, let's run to Cherbourg. Screw it. Really, it's fucking dead escort destroyers. Yeah. Actually, let no. We're we're right here at Le Havre. Yes to all. Just everything in her port. Shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, my uh Okay, come on, get the carriers into port, get the carriers into port, get the carriers into port. We're so close, we're so close. We are my carriers are actually taking fire from enemy cruisers and they're in port. Oh my carrier's launch is delayed as it's close to the enemy. Um carrier's in port now. Just run into port. So... Yeah, sure. Uh... No, actually. No. Is... Yeah, you can launch stuff. Um... So I guess I've gone into Le Havre. Um... The weather improved. That was kind of the issue. But man, that was really not a great situation. Might lose this. But only barely. Because my fleet's no longer deployed. It was just very much the case where the weather was constantly, you know, not great for what I wanted. Oh, apparently their CVs yeah. are out. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I don't want to, hold on, where's the auto run battle? Yeah, okay. I'll just auto run it now, because my fleet's in port. Um, I think this will be a loss, unfortunately, but it shouldn't be much of one. Yeah. Made some poor decisions due to the weather. Yeah, deciding to have battles. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was just not ideally timed, and um. Yep. Ah, yeah. oh, we lose a sub. Yep. Yeah, they won. They had one destroyer heavily damaged. I lost two destroyers, a corvette, and three merchants, and a sub. And they, you know, they got the Zinc 2 ship, so they ship okay. I had a CVO lightly damaged. Submersive and British. British destroyer aerial. Four out of 1708. A five inch waterline hit from Democracy, and then shipped water in heavy seas and barely got it under control. Uh, 
destroyer just barely escaped death. Or death. Um, yeah, these merchants got shelled. Then I lost uh, two old trade protection destroyers. That one due to a enemy submarine torpedo, and then this one was just shelled. Shelled by a CV. The British carrier was out and shelled them. They did. They did have a heavy cruiser out, and I never found it. Glory took a six-inch, which disabled a turret. Glor, it's Glor. Nine got sunk by a bunch of foreign shells. LEA took a six-inch. All hit. Roll boat. Foreign shells. And then these other destroyers were just very lightly damaged. 12 inch near miss on that one. So I let we got into port after 5 inch shelled and a little bit of structure damage. Anything else got sh hit at all? British Seal took a 5 inch to her fire control. This British Seal took a 6 inch, which got limited by the coal bunker. That was it. So yeah, their CV was deployed. What CA was out? Okay, so Argus was deployed with her 43 aircraft. She actually shot at stuff. What cruiser did they bring out? They never saw it. Oh, um. Chant. I think I probably could have sunk that. One versus four. This is, even with my old cruiser designs, that probably would have been a victory, but. Oh my god, I lost a prestige point. Wow. I lost a prestige point for losing, like, two Coastal Patrol destroyers and a sub. Uh, they got 2,000 points from that. Austria-Hungary has joined the war. Um, new patrol aircraft. Uh, okay, interesting choices. My quite okay. So all of these beat my two existing patrol aircraft on the two most important aspects, and that would be max speed and range. The question is, do I go with the one which has a really good maximum speed, or do I go with the one that has a really good range? So I can either get 107 at a 260 or 89 at um 338. 260 would be a moderate improvement in range, 107 would be a good improvement in speed, um, 89 would be a small improvement in speed, and 338 would be a really good improvement in range. I'd go for the speed improvement. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. I was thinking similar. Because yeah, the rain, range is good, but once you get past a certain point, range kind of matters less, and uh, having the speed means that you'll spot stuff sooner. Large liner is sunk by an Austrian submarine with heavy loss of light. Neutral nations are upset. Support for our cause. Nancy is damaged. British raider has been forced to scuttle. Our ally Russia joins the war against Austria. Austria just scrapped two destroyers despite now joining war. Splendid. Okay then, unfortunately, um, this does mean that Nancy is going to go in for a rebuild. I think I will give her the same rebuild as for Droyant. Um, you know, for Droyant, the uh, destroyed turret magnet. Um, but I have a little bit more money, so I can probably afford a couple more destroyers at this point. Or... Actually, no, Dukens is resumed. Chanzi will probably be resumed once Dukens is out. Gosh, that saved me a good amount of cash. Let me get, like, three more of these uh, destroyers building. I guess this game simulates uh, farming distance and fuses. Dukens is close to done. Okay, so what else did I want to make? 
out. Some. I have to design. It's the, the end of the law. There was something I was trying to think about. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, the thing I need to do. Air groups. Uh, grab flotilla 8F from Naval Air Station Brest, put her on Bjorn. Grab 7F from uh, Air Station Dunkirk, put them on Bjorn. And uh, grab 15F from St. Nazaire. Mm -hmm. Hold on. We have that fighter group from La Rochelle. And there's BN's air group. <clears throat> I'd, I'd done the thing where I crafted the air group at um, naval air stations first. And then, you mm -hmm. know, once the carrier was complete, moved them over to her. Yeah, so they're already pretty skilled. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. So she's starting with, um, you know, experience, good, fair, fair, and good, and her, her torpedo bombers already have a torpedo hit scored. Although I think it might have been on a friendly. Um, now this does mean that I'm going to change the number in these medium bomber squadron, or in that medium bomber squadron. So like eight. Probably change the number in these uh, naval patrol aircraft squadrons to like six. We'll get some with like a group of eight torpedo bombers at brass i don't i'll get some f hold on no add air unit i want to add a group of fighters probably 16 fighters brass to get. um just because a lot you know a good amount of battles have taken place around there actually i probably want a group of fighters at like dunkirk too i'll do how about 12 fighters at dunkirk i'll reduce the number of fighters here to 12. Then uh, but Cherbourg, probably want to add some uh, full fighters. Let's say six naval patrol aircraft, and then I will add some medium bombers, like eight medium bombers, and then probably, honestly, probably like eight torpedo bombers. Um, now, Austria doesn't have a CV yet. Austria doesn't have a carrier yet, so I'm not fully expecting a lot of uh, issues with them. Also, what is Austria's tensions right now? Um, okay. So Austria is at seven tensions with Italy, and Britain's at eight tensions with Italy. I'm really hoping Italy joins the war on my side. So now I do what I prepared for. I'm going to go into the division editor. Actually, let me, let me take a look at the Austrian battleships here. They've got two with 10 times 12 inch guns and one with 9 times 15 inch guns. They're all fairly slow, and they're Austrian. So, I call right now, and how many cruisers do they have? They have one CA. Oh, I think they better slow down. Um... How good is their CA, actually? An 8 times 10. Britain does have more CAs in service than that. And I think they're stopping. Oh, Britain just got another battleship in service. Oh, crap. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Britain has 6 CAs in service. 
I probably don't want to send my CAs down into the med, though, outside of the group that's already there. I think, yeah, all, yeah I hold Ob, Sully, Gambetta, and Victor Hugo back. In Northern Europe to better deal with the uh, British CAs. I take... Okay, I think what I do is I... Okay, my question is, do I split off 3rd Battle Division or 2nd Battle Division to go deal with Austria? I think I need 1st Battle Division to deal with Britain. Because 1st Battle Division has, like... Okay, 1st Battle Division is all in refit right now. But um, they're going to come out next turn, so... Just send out the third to deal with Austria. Yeah. Yeah. The difference is the the second and third are each fully armed with ships with eight fourteen inch guns. Um so right. yeah, from that aspect it's pretty good. The second battle division has the Charlemagnes, which are definitely the best three of those six ships. And the Charlemagnes are upgraded. So the Charlemagnes have 14-inch quality 1 guns. In the 3rd Battle Division, only Condorcet's guns were upgraded. Or maybe it's quality 0. Or maybe quality 0. Condorcet's guns were upgraded. The ones on Danton and St. Louis would not. And that was primarily due to the outbreak of war. Um, if war hadn't broken out, I would have updated the guns on all 6 ships. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, right now that's only only second battle division has that. Um, but you know, Britain is down to only one battleship group now, and as much as first battle division could, you know, first battle division could probably counter that easily. Um, but I still would want to have third and you know two other battle divisions to blockade them. But I think it is more use if I send second battle. I, I think I'm sending second to the med. So I'm gonna set. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna mess with uh these again. Move division to the Mediterranean, and then that should take along. Yeah, the destroyer group that is escorting you. Then, in addition to this. Okay, so I'm gonna set the role of first cruiser now as a screen on first battle. Then I am going to move first battle cruiser division to the med. Yeah, so that takes all my battle cruisers with me. Um, and my and my best battleship, it should be noted. Corbet is going to the med. But, you know, I've assigned her to one of the battle cruiser divisions, so makes sense. It is taking a bunch of my CLs to the med, so it looks like my older CLs are Oh wow, I've got my CL divisions escorting. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't take my most recent group, but it takes yeah. It'll take about half my CLs to the med. Mm. And a good chunk of my destroyers, but definitely not all the destroyers. Okay. Um. <laughs> I think that's acceptable. And then, you know, I think I'll do one more battle, if that's okay, even though this has gone yeah. on like 50 minutes already. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. 50 minutes. Damn. Oh, hold on. Some divisions have no commander assigned. That would be the aircraft carrier, Bjorn. Oh yeah, Bjorn needs to be assigned to a division too. I will take that damage control expert and put him on Bjorn. At the same time, um, you need to add Bjorn to a carrier division, which would be. Oh, I mean, second carrier lost a ship, so uh, welcome to second carrier division, Bjorn. You get to uh, join the carrier Glor. That'll give me three carrier divisions all in Northern Europe. I don't think I'm going to deploy any to the Med. 
Maybe I deploy. Uh, maybe maybe I deploy first to the med. No, no, no. I think having all them in Northern Europe is better because I don't think Austria is going to be as good of a Mediterranean power. Also, where are America's ships right now? Looks like America's ships are in the Caribbean and in West Africa. Maybe they'll head to Northern Europe. I don't know. Okay, next turn. Anti-U.S. rebellion has broke out in Hainan. Cruiser action, decline that. Convoy defense, no way. Convoy attack off of Britain. Their battleship is back. This could give me a chance to sink that remaining battleship. They do have more cruisers than I do, because my battle cruisers have now redeployed into the med to try to deal with Austria. Some my question: bastard, the hell were they long? Yeah, do I decline to try to get a good battle with Austria, or do I accept and try to knock out Britain's remaining battleship? I would say try to knock the teeth out of Britain. Okay, they decline, and we get an unexpected cruiser action. God damn it. Okay, we lay a couple of minefields. Maybe it wasn't giving me that battle because all the ships were still moving to the Mediterranean. But yeah, I think right now... The goal is to use the those ships to counter the Austrians. Okay. Okay, so organization-wise, I only get the cruiser squadrons, which means I'm a probably a little bit behind, but uh, Russia has sent in a battleship. A 27-knot battleship. She can keep up. Form on uh, Victor Hugo as a core group, then. Actually, no, no, no. Don't do that. Form on Sully as a core group, and then you form on... Uh, the Russian ship as a core group. So I'll put the Russian ship in the middle of my line. Uh, Mikhail Kutusov. Okay, we've not encountered the cruiser, the enemy cruisers yet, and it's going to be nighttime. Got a brief hiccup in the game, but... Um... I think I'm just going to return to port soon. Uh, no. Alright, no contact between fleets. We did have an advantage. Yeah, they were down there. Just missed each other. Okay. Triumphant has finished a reconstruction. Paris has finished a reconstruction. France has finished a reconstruction. Honestly, I keep looking at my mouse and I think it's like a smartphone because of the colors on it. Man, I want to get a good battle in this episode and it's just not happening. Yeah. I'll run probably one more turn here. I think what I'll do is I'll run one more turn, but if it's like a fleet battle versus Austria, I think I'll call the episode on that. Okay. Um, I cannot get by with less resources, only the navy can win this war. Sunk a sub, food is becoming scarce in France, uh, one of our keys have been by a mine, uh, 106 operational enemy subs. Hundred and six. Um, I need three hundred ton corvettes. Three hundred ton corvettes. Yes. I need some something spammable. What? 
auto design auto design me a three hundred ton Corvette. God damn it, game. My friends can only be uh, like I'm in eighteen ninety something. And so I'm used to like four thousand ton Corvettes. Okay, let's go seventeen knots, reduce those to three inch guns. Where the hell's all this weight going? Who's mean salary? Oh, oh yeah, because I don't have uh, turbines. Um. Oh, it's a medium anti-aircraft. Um. Get rid of the depth charge throwers. Okay. Do I put minesweeping gear on these terrible corvettes or not? Yeah, it might make it useful for something. Hmm. Although, we'll, well, I mean, I need ASW ships right now, I think. I need just spammable ASW craft. I think I removed the minesweeping gear. Yeah, load up with uh, submarine killers. And I can reduce these to 200 ton vessels. Design is not legal. Oh, oh, okay, no, 300 tons is needed for the extra depth charge storage, okay. Four months at 182. Okay, that is doable. Increase elevation. Probably won't be going dual purpose guns. Um. I think I think I will just go with the default look here. I won't even improve on that. Man, I need to spam these things out like no tomorrow. Just to deal with the Austrian sub threat. When you hear a quadcopter again. <laughs> well, there we go. That is uh twelve corvettes that'll now complete in four months and hopefully really help me deal with um Austro-Hungarian submarines. ASW is two ninety out of eighteen. Um I have any air bases down here. I have one in Tunis or in Tunis. We go to activate Tunis, um add Screw it, 16 naval patrol aircraft in Tunis. And uh, go to Marseille. Add, again, 16 naval patrol aircraft. I'm hoping that na naval patrol aircraft spam might offer me just a little brief respite um, on a normal construction pace on the, that destroyer. Page is going to come back out. Dukens is... Oh, God, dude, Kent's got delayed again. Crap. Oh, Nancy's rebuild is full, full duration. Cosmo class now has the O-tag. Crap. Okay, good news is both Austria and Britain are now blockaded simultaneously. <laughs> um... And hopefully that'll produce, you know, a battle, which I want. So, um... I'll, say, I'll save the game. Um, I'm actually going to copy the game to uh, save slot 2 right now. Just in case. Um, because saving during a battle is not... A, there's a chance I'm going to save during a battle here. That's not a good thing. <laughs> So, I'll copy it over to save slot 2, just to have a backup. And, uh... Oh, right, um... France needs a new commander, I forgot. Which, do we have a good above-average commander on anything? No. I'll grab the one... I could grab the one from Verite. Do we have a brilliant commander? BC Nancy. Okay, I'll grab Verite's commander, um, which means that I can grab an average for you. 
Do we have any good average commanders, though? I guess it's a normal average. Okay. Now, save. Okay, um, I guess this, this is a good battle to, uh, end this off on. Um, apparently, my battlecruiser Toulouse has, uh, just intercepted a, uh, raider. Oh, this, this is not a battlecruiser that any ra raider would ever want to be run down by. Hello there, raiding CA. What do you think of, uh, 17-inch shells? Oh, that's the one Austro-Hungarian armored cruiser. Yeah, to lose, close the distance. Oh, your forward turret jammed. Uh, get your aft turret into action. Good, we're already scoring 17 inch hits on this thing. Slight. Gotta get that aft turret in. There we go. Okay, we're we're continuing to score hits. I need to get that forward turret unjammed. There we go. Chase again. Good news is we are scoring hits. So although I believe St. George is. Oh, she's one knot faster than us normally. She has now been hit by several 17-inch shells. Actually, if I look at the log entries, I can check how many she's been hit by. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's been hit by, or she's been struck by up to eight 17-inch shells on a ship that is normally capable of... 28 knots. On the other hand, we have now lost her because it is nighttime. So continue at flank speed north. Oh god, I think I think we've completely yeah. I think she I think she slipped away from us. Okay, cruise speed and then just evacuate. Damn it. If only that forward turret hadn't jammed. Yes, in the scenario. This is a victory. She was slowed down to 26 knots. I was hoping more. Yeah, first hit destroyed a turret. Second hit was a superstructure pass through. Penetrated the deck. Second bat hit fire, damage for fire control. Destroyed a turret. And, uh... Oh god, all of our hits, it seemed like all of them went into um, turrets or fire control. We only really got one good hull hit. I guess two of these. Yeah, one good hull hit, really. I think turret damage is damage they need to repair it all. Yep. So she's stuck in port, or she's going to be stuck in port. Does the AI cheat with budget? I don't know. They think George limps home with substantial damage. Oh, she does get away. Corbin has finished her reconstruction. Okay. They need to do more. You needed to do more than that. that was... A scuttle would have been nice too, but I don't. I don't think that was going to happen in that instance. Yeah, you probably not. Proof, don't have proof quadruple turrets. We've sunk an enemy sub. We sunk an enemy sub. Our patrol aircraft sank a sub. Ruin is damaged. Desai is damaged. Sunk an enemy sub. Um, we lose a sub. Enemy raiders are sinking merchants. We do gain VP for blockade. Ship under rebuild. Okay, um, 
On turn over, it looks like, first of all, Metz and the cruiser Metz needs a new commander. Um, even if I grab an average from an older ship, what would I grab? Probably someone from, uh, I don't know, do you have Sens, maybe? I'm, I'm running into a commander crunch. And look, I'm going through just going through a period of uh, not great commanders again. Good news is Dukens should complete here, and um, because of the sub threat, I think I am going to lay down another four corvettes, and another um, where is it? Another uh. Destroyer. Mm -hmm. So Ruin is damaged. Um, she has an elite crew. I will give her an advanced director now. She's out for a bit. She doesn't even have any uh, anti-aircraft guns on her, so she should really be refit. Um. Air capacity one, add in a catapult, position that catapult astern. Okay, so I could upgrade her guns to 14 inch Q1s. I won't be doing that though. Uh, you get like uh, eight dual purpose tertiary three inch mounts. Uh, four inch mounts are going to be, no, three inch. It'll be nice to, at some point, get these ships with a more consistent, like, dual-purpose Zekbat, but, man, I'm just really limited to this tur- or to these dual-purpose Tershbats right now. Yeah. Okay, I think- can't fully load her with anti-aircraft, but I think that'll be good enough. Um... And then you know she'll go in for a uh, she'll go in for this rebuild. Catapult. Resting of the 180. Set position here. Okay. Uh, should I put the float plane on the catapult in the visual? I think I will. Yeah. I need a crane. Look. Where is that rectangle graded? There we go. Move that and then add in a crane. Kind of a distinctive look mounting the catapult aft at the very end of the aft tumble home. Right, yeah. Is it... yeah how, how... Why is she tumble home? She's French. Why would why would yeah, she not be tumble home? Stop doing that. <laughs> I, I stopped it forward. She's not tumble home forward. She's just tumble home aft. For, forward like the bow is expanding out. She has a proper bow forward. It's just it starts kind of becoming tumble home. And then it becomes more and more tumble home the more rear to the ship you get. That, that is true of all. That is true of all my ships. I'm gonna have tumble home missile cruisers, like Zumwalt. No. Um. Okay, those are on. The last thing I want to do was mirror these mounts to the other side because I forgot to do that. I have a ship where I did forget to do that on it. Doesn't look good. I'm not reclassifying her as a battleship. And I do think that this refit will be more worthwhile than uh, 
keeping her there without it, especially, you know, without proper anti-aircraft guns and such. Yeah. It's like, hey, if I have an opportunity to refit a ship with fire control and anti-aircraft guns I'm t in the middle of a war, I'm taking it. Okay. That well, actually saves a good amount of budget, because that rebuild is significantly cheaper. Uh, actually, can I accelerate the construction? Uh, I won't. And the really good news is next turn, Dukens should commission. Um, you know, I'm going to take a little bit more of a budget hit, and I'm going to resume Chanzi. <laughs> See if I can get Chanzi done. But I think that is this episode, because this is, you know, an hour ten minutes. Thank you very much for joining me, Overlord. No um, sorry, this wasn't the greatest of episodes. Uh, uh, every yeah, everything's a little bit better position. Um, and I do have to do my classic outro. So, um, thank you, all of you people who have been watching these episodes, this watch this episode in this series. Sorry, I'm only going to one every other day now. One every day was way too exhausting. And, uh, yeah, links to my Discord, Twitch, and the other website are down below. Uh, you can join the Discord for notifications on these videos and any live streams I do. Um, Twitch is non-Rule the Waves live streams, if you're at all interested in those whenever they very rarely happen. And, um, the, the website, which shall not be named, might be, um, might be about to die now, so, uh, it's dying. Idiotic, idiotic decisions. So many idiotic decisions. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. You, you can only view like four hundred day or what? Six hundred. Oh, yeah, six hundred. If your account's old. Yeah, I think it's a thousand now. I think. Uh, no, the funny, the funny thing is up, it, but... this website DDoSing itself. Yes. And um. You know, that includes advertisements, too. Ad yeah. Advertising companies are going to love having less people looking at their stuff. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Let's see. And, uh, af also there will be a link to a community Rule the Waves Discord server down below. Um, it is officially recognized, but not actually official is the best way to describe it. It's where cur currently me and Overlord are chatting. Yeah, um, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's linked down below. And once again, I have to send a thank you to Naval Warfare Simulations, Matrix, and Southern Games for the free key for this. I'm constantly going to fa thank you for doing that and allowing me to put this series out. Although I would have put it out anyway, even if I didn't get that. And I still need to do the key giveaway, but man, I just don't have time to live stream anything. Um, Can I have the key? I already have the game, but I'd like the key. <laughs> oh, it is, well, it's literally going to be... I think it's literally going to be the case where I will, like, basically have the thing set up to buy, and then I'll ask for that person's email and buy it for them as a gift, like, while I'm doing the stream. Well, it's literally my plan right now for the giveaway. I see. Because it's like, I could give him a Steam key, but I want to give him, like, the full Matrix access, too, so that they can make that choice. I want to buy it through the Matrix website so that, you know, developers get a better cut of the money. Um, so, yeah. That's all i got to say. Uh, thank you. See you all next time. Bye! <laughs> you, you could throw in one, too, if you did. kind of did, right? What? Did you throw in a buy, or? I think I talked over it. I'm confused what you say. Oh, I'm I'm asking if you want to say goodbye to everyone. No. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. There we go.